Hello everyone and thank you so much for being here and joining me in today's video. So John and I are going to be building a horizontal slat fence in this entire area off our back deck. I haven't shared a ton of this with you. I will talk to you guys a little bit more about it later in the video, but basically we had our deck extended and we installed a stock tank pool and then removed the old gate and fence that housed this kind of, or that kind of closed off this garbage area. Uh, we had torn down the gate and the fence a while ago and I never filmed it. It was back when I thought I was done with YouTube and just kind of wanted to do these projects without filming, but you get the idea. We tore down the old fence and now we are going to build a new one and it was a lot of fun. I cannot say I did much of anything. It was This was during the recovery of my surgery and John pretty much went solo on this project. I also want to thank you guys so much for always supporting me and my channel when I do have sponsored content. It really means a lot. As you know, this is a job for me, so I really appreciate my sponsors as well. Today's video is sponsored, so I'm going to get into that. We're going to take a very brief break, and then we'll be back to get on with the rest of the video. Before we get too far into today's video, I'd like to thank Stash for sponsoring this portion of the video. Stash is a personal finance app that helps make investing easy and affordable to build wealth, hit financial goals, and invest in yourself. With Stash, you don't need a lot of money to start investing. They offer two simple plans starting at $3 a month that can help you invest like a pro. I personally appreciate the simplicity of the app and the educational tools they provide. For someone who's new to investing, I find Stash's Learn section, which is dedicated to educating users on financial topics, how to start investing, and more, priceless. With Stash, you can set aside money for retirement, buy fractional shares of stocks versus the full share, and even start planning for your kid's future. Join the six plus million people who know it's never too early to invest in yourself and start today. Stash also has a special offer for my viewers. You'll receive a $25 bonus if you download Stash and deposit as little as $5. Click the link in the description or the pinned YouTube comment and sign up for Stash today. Thanks again to Stash for sponsoring this part of the video. Now, back to the rest of the video. Something, something I can never be without, yeah I'm in your coming Thought I was a man of my own, but It's been two years I'm only a shadow of the good on me now A breeze in my ear Cause you know I cannot see no audio Feeling like home But should it be like this? Locked up in your dome You know I fight for you What do I All right, so a little backstory on the back deck um, and why we're doing this project. So this past summer, I had an idea of installing a stock tank pool in our backyard right off the deck. So we had a place to go and cool off when the days were just unbearably hot and we didn't want to haul all of the kids to the neighborhood pool. So I had seen these stock tank pools all over Instagram. I won't get too far into it, but if you're interested and you want to know more about it, if you have Instagram or you can just Google stock tank pools, they're so cool. The possibilities are endless. You can make them super fun and kitschy and they're just really cool. And you can see that right there. So, um, Anyway, we had uh, some guys that came out and did some work for us uh, come out and then extend our deck. So they extended the deck. I don't know. I'm a terrible judge of how far. I'd say about 12 feet um, on both ends to kind of finish it off. And we decided we wanted to put up a horizontal slat privacy fence, which is what John is doing now. So this is a DIY project, but it's not a how-to. But if you do have questions, ask me in the comments, and then I will ask John if it's something I can't answer. I will explain it a little bit, but I had nothing to do with this project. Like I said, I was recovering from surgery, so John kind of had his hand in this by himself. And then I would just stand there and tell him if I liked it or not. So anyway, in the midst of doing this whole thing, we were like, oh, we love this stock tank pool, but it's not as easy to heat as we thought it would be to where we can use it in the winter as like a air quote, hot tub. So then that got us to thinking, we're like, we could really use a place to relax. We're always doing projects. We've got four kids. We're busy. We just wanted like a place to chill and relax at the end of the night. 
So that prompted us to go look at hot tubs. So on Black Friday, we went and we bought a hot tub, which we will have installed and you guys will see at the end of this video. So after the main structural posts were installed and the concrete was set, John took these cedar boards we found at a local lumber yard and cut them down to size and made sure they lined up perfectly and spaced them. I don't know, it's less than an inch. It might be half an inch apart. He had these little spacers, wood spacers that we used in between each one to make sure they were spaced out perfectly. If you go on Pinterest, you can find tons of actual tutorials on how to do something like this. We just kind of looked at a handful of them and then just went for it and didn't follow any specific one because it seemed pretty straightforward and it was. And I'm just super proud of John for executing this. I love it. I think it's beautiful and I cannot wait to kind of plant and do some landscaping around it. I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a break and let you listen to some music and stop chatting for a little while. It can get a little bit tricky. Some sponsors want their sponsored content right in the beginning of the video, but I also have to do an intro. So then it gets really super chatty in the beginning. Um, and that's typically not my style. So today's was a little bit different having to talk quite a bit in the beginning as opposed to kind of spacing it out quite a bit, but that's okay. Um, so John, the concrete, if you guys are noticing, uh, is like a quick concrete. You kind of pour it and then you pour the water on top and then it kind of naturally kind of does its thing, which was so cool. I obviously, I have a lot to learn about this kind of stuff, but I'm, we're always learning something new. We actually started this project I believe back in October I think we tore the gate and the fence down maybe in August and then in October we started the rebuilding process and it is now December and we are just 
finishing it. So YouTube makes it look like we do everything so quick and it's so easy, but we have four kids. Um, I'm a stay at home mom. I do YouTube full time. John works lots of hours at the hospital. So these things get done whenever they get done. Um, so this was a couple or a few months where we're just like, we're making progress and then weather would hit or we would get sick or like I had surgery. Um, so at this point, I think I was almost done with recovery and I just kind of wanted to start doing some work, but we always get it done and it always looks great and we're always super proud of it, but it can take a while sometimes. I held your hand when time was rough. I try to keep your feet on the ground. You just want to drink the beer and grab the glass and let it go down. We're going down. So we erected the fence about as high as we thought we wanted it, but knowing that we may change our minds. So when you step up on the deck, there was still quite a bit of clearance there and it just kind of felt a little awkward. So I wanted to add one more row of cedar planks and it worked out perfectly. It's great from the outside. It's about a third of the height of the house, which is great for proportions. But then when you're standing behind the fence, um, you also feel covered and, and private. So it worked out all right. Till it breaks Oh, how my heart aches You keep blowing me out I keep holding you in I keep asking myself for 
We also knew we wanted the inside of the fence to look pretty because it was going to be a focal point from the deck as well. So we decided to go with the shadow box effect and just kind of mimicked what was going on outside on the inside. So by this point, I believe it was like early December and the ground was basically frozen. So John had to chip away at the sod to try to get it out of the way so we could open and close the gate. And in doing so, he found these old pavers under here. So he did as much as he needed to for us to have access to this, but we're gonna wait until the ground thaws to do the rest. So now it's time to remove the stock tank pool. So at this point we had already gone to the hot tub store, chosen the dimen or, and chosen the hot tub we wanted so we knew the dimensions. So we're gonna take down this baby gate that was keeping the kids out of the pool. So John's gonna go ahead and mark out the dimensions of the hot tub and how much kind of extra for clearance we needed so they could get it in the deck. We're gonna cut that out and then pull the pool out.
so once swimming season was over, we drained as much of this as we possibly could. Um, we like siphoned it with a hose, but then we obviously couldn't tilt it to get the remainder of the water out and we didn't have any sort of fancy pump. So at this point, we just kind of drained the rest of the water out via the holes that we had drilled for the filter. Um, if we decide to, to sand this down, re-epoxy it and use it next year in another area in the yard, I'm just gonna store it in the little side kind of storage garbage area. If we decide not to use it, then I'm probably going to sell it as like a stock tank pool kit with the filter and everything, because it's basically ready to go. Somebody else is just gonna have to sand it down and re-epoxy it. We also thought about um, getting an excavator next spring or summer and then kind of making a cool pond somewhere in the yard, but I don't know. <laughs> we'll see about that. You knocked me down, swept my feet off the ground, left me on the floor. So once John laid out some leveling sand, which he forgot to turn on the camera when he put that down, it's fine, it's just sand. Once he did that and got it all level, we started laying out the pavers that were going to be the base for the hot tub. I did not get much footage of the hot tub being installed, or I didn't get any footage of it being installed at all, but I did get a few little clips here of showing how they got it into the backyard and what it looked like before it went in. And then I just didn't want to film them. I just did that on my phone. I just didn't want to get into the whole, I do YouTube, is it okay if I film you, blah, blah, blah. I just didn't think it was all that important to stand there and film them struggling to get this hot tub in our deck. So now at this point, John is just replacing the boards and making sure it's butted up right next to the hot tub. And yeah, it's like Jenga or a puzzle or whatever. And he did a great job, but I'll show you a little bit more of that. And then I'm going to show you the finished product. Now I'm just installing the latch, which was a giant pain in my butt. Um, and then while I was doing that, John was cutting down the post to add the post caps. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of that as well. 
We ordered the post caps from Amazon. They are solar powered lights. So obviously they take all the power from the sun during the day and then at night they're illuminated around that uh, the perimeter and it's really pretty. There are a couple of them that don't light up at night though because they hang out underneath the roof line which you'll see the roof line here. So there's two in the back that don't light up which is kind of a pain in the butt. Um, so it might be nice to have some options that are also battery powered that don't require sunlight I don't really know we might address it we might not but I will link them because the ones that are in the Sun work great and then I also purchased some little solar lights that will be um, I will attach to the outside of the fence here I just haven't done it yet because I don't want to install them unless I'm sure but once I get to a point where I'm kind of like landscaping and making this look really pretty maybe hanging planters on the the fence itself I will show you all of that So we are just about finished. John has to finish making um, a functional panel here. This has to be able to be removed easily. So he's, this is just sitting here for safety purposes, but he's redoing the boards and then making it um, possible to lift and lower this thing easily to access the front panel. And then um, we have to move this wood. This I think he's using some of this wood, but. So when the weather gets a little bit warmer, I'm probably gonna do some like um, potting or something like that and put some pretty plants here because we don't really access it from this side. The hot tub came with a small set of steps here. The lighting's weird, so I don't know if you can see that. And then I'll show you at night, these solar little um, post covers light up. These two don't because they don't get any sun as you can see during the day, but overall it's really pretty. And then let me show you the tub. After John did some extensive research or some extensive research on hot tubs, we ultimately decided to invest in the Bullfrog Spa. We got the M9 version because we got a killer deal on Black Friday. The top is a little hard for me to push back just because we got the biggest one, but overall it's super user friendly. Okay, so the only problem we're having right now is that um, we're in this all the time. So you can see these jets are above the water level. We have to get the hose and connect the hose again and fill this back up about five more inches, maybe six inches. Um, the kids are in it literally like multiple times a day now in the evening, so and it's freezing out. When this is up, it's causing a lot of evaporation and then there's a lot of belly flops happening too. But um, lots of different settings, which is awesome. And then we can change the, hold on, let me turn the jets off. Oh my God, I almost got sprayed. Okay, and then we can turn the lights on in the evening. And there are multiple color options which you can't really see during the day. But all of like this will light up, all of the panels, the backs of all of the jet packs will light up. It's super cool. So we have a lot of fun in here. And let me just walk around and show you the whole thing. Right now I think it's doing some sort of like, I don't know, every now and again it'll make some noises like it's doing some like cycling through all of the water. You guys, if you have a Bernadoodle, this happens daily. You can see there's, it's really nice. We're probably gonna, um, we might keep the stock tank pool or the stock tank and make a new pool for in a different location in the summertime.
I also got some solar powered string lights, outdoor string lights that I'm going to, we're gonna to try to figure out some way to attach them to do some really cool like overhead lighting for us as well. We just haven't gotten to that. It's been a very, very busy season. I'm sure you've all been super busy, but we're just glad to have gotten this far and to get this much done. But I'm gonna kind of cycle through and show you guys the different lighting. Uh, I personally love this one. The pink one's my favorite. Lenny loves the purple. It also has built-in Bluetooth with really great sounds, so we've been listening to fun Christmas music at night and putting on the green lights and just really, really enjoying it with each other. Hi, bud. Uh, Do you uh, love it? Uh. It's on? Yeah. Do you love it? Do you like, do you like to swim in there? Yeah. yeah. Mommy. With mama? Yeah. And then we can go up another level and then get the bubbles really going. The kids love it and we swim in it almost well. John and I sit in it, but the kids literally swim in it every night. And it's been a really awesome purchase for us. So, really happy with it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Back up, back up, back up, move your hands. Ready, set, whoosh. <laughs> we got some safety clips so the kids can't open the top. Yeah, so you can't open it. Okay, thanks bud. Bye-bye.